Hello, welcome to This Is My Architecture. I'm joined today by Scott from Technology One. Welcome, Scott. Thanks, Simon. What does Technology One do? Uh, Technology One is an enterprise software company. So we make software for a bunch of key markets from government to education to not-for-profit. Excellent. And it's a great global success story, but Australian-based. Yeah, it is. Thanks. Fantastic. So you've got an interesting story here. We've done a transformation that uh, many of our listeners will probably be interested in. Yeah. So this is part of our cloud architecture, mainly focusing on um, our application service. So originally, we started with all of our products. So our current generation of products is called CI Anywhere, and the previous generation is CI. Um, and all those products were running on the same app servers inside of auto scaling groups with uh, the classic ELBs at, front, at the front. So um, what we did when we found out about application load balances is we wanted to get onto those quickly because we knew it would give us a lot of benefits. So um, what we were able to do was, because we're using CloudFormation uh, for all of our architecture, we were able to make changes to our CloudFormation template um, to replace the ELB with ALBs uh, and then copy and paste the definition for the auto scaling groups to give us um, separate ASGs for each of our products. So that then gave us the ability to route the traffic to each product and um, scale those out independently of each other. So we had CI Anywhere and each of our CI products on separate ASGs. So by having them separately, you were able to optimize better? Was that one of the drivers? Yeah, definitely. Um, it was certainly one of the drivers and one of the immediate benefits that we saw. Um, so because each of the uh, ASGs was mapped to a target group um, behind the application load balancer, we were able to see the CloudWatch metrics for each target group straight away. And that told us things about our products that we weren't able to see before. So we could see um, the behavior of each product individually. And that also then allowed us to uh, tune each product based on those metrics. So you could optimize from a, an infrastructure perspective, but also from a code perspective as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we used things like the uh, ability to have a target he targeted health check for each product and also um, being able to see things like the number of requests and request latency uh, on those metrics allowed us to make decisions about how to improve the performance of the software for mm. each product. Mm. And this is all .NET on Windows, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So yeah, we've been using .NET for a long time and uh, yeah, it's been working great. And the, the transformation from this kind of traditional architecture to a more microservices based architecture, dare I use the phrase, how long did that take? Uh, well, we actually made this change from the uh, classic load balancers to ALBs um, with the CloudFormation template and put that into test within an afternoon and uh, we're able to use the, the metrics and um, run our own testing to see how that behaved and we're able to put in a production the next day. So it was about wow. 24 hours to turn around. That's from. a pretty impressive turnaround. Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, it it's, was just very easy, especially with CloudFormation templates driving everything. Well, I guess the fact you were using those CloudFormation templates meant you could test production-like and have high confidence that this change wasn't going to cause any issues. In fact, it was just going to help. So. Exactly, yeah. I mean, it, it took all the risk away. So um, yeah, we knew that once we tested it, there wasn't going to be any surprises once we rolled into production. Sensational. Thanks so much, Scott. That's right. Thanks, Simon. And thanks for watching. This is my architecture.